Hello everyone, this is a review of the Lenovo Duet. It is a Chimera device that allows you to run Chrome OS, Android, and Linux apps side by side. The specs are MediaTek Helio P60T 8-core CPU, ARM-based, RAM is 4GB, and storage of 64GB or 128GB of eMMC, with a 10.1-inch screen and a resolution of 1920 by 1200 battery of 7,000 milliamp hours. The front camera is 2 megapixels, while the rear camera is 8 megapixels. It runs Chrome OS 32-bit. It comes with a detachable keyboard in the box, and also a magnetically attachable case cover with this nice stand on it, and is also compatible with the HP USI stylus. And with that, let's begin the unboxing. First, we have the tablet itself. Nice blue color in the back. Also in the box is a USB-A charger. It's rated for up to 240 volts input. Output is up to 2 amps at 5 volts. Also in the box, you will find this uh, USB-C to USB-A cable that everybody is familiar with. And there's also a little adapter that converts USB-C to 2.5 millimeter phone jack for your headsets. Inside this nested box, you get to pull out keyboard, attachable keyboard with the trackpad, and also the back cover that's magnetically attached and has like a little kickstand on it. I'll open it up now to demonstrate the kickstand. As you can see, it snaps on pretty easily magnetically. And then the kickstand is pretty much almost infinitely adjustable to almost 90 degrees, it looks like. And here is the keyboard. Nice and light, it also magnetically attaches. You have to be careful though, sometimes when you try to attach it, it will be misaligned. So let's look at the tablet itself. At the bottom, you see the pogo buttons for the keyboard. On the right side, at the very bottom, you see the USB C connector. And then you pretty much see absolutely nothing else. And then you see there is a power button and then volume up and down and when you look at the very top all you see are holes for the speakers looks like stereo speakers and then when you look at the left side there's nothing so the keyboard has very soft buttons I really enjoy typing on it um, the only problem I found is some of the buttons are kind of smaller I guess you can see the punctuation on the right, the buttons are almost half the size of the regular button. And up here we have like escape and some buttons to control the web browser back and forward, refresh and what have you. And then we have a button to maximize and minimize the windows. And then a bunch of buttons to control like volume and things like that. Just normal things you expect. Now, even though the typing experience is pretty good, I found myself 
hitting like the Q button a lot when I was trying to hit the tap button because the tap button is not quite normal sized. So buyer beware. So there's also a very nice matte trackpad. It's kind of rough, so it's not as nice as you would find on a smooth MacBook trackpad. At up to 400 nits, the screen can get very bright, as you can tell. But I find the screen a little bit washed out compared to like an iPad. And with such a high resolution, though, um, you have to almost always use scaling in order to see it. Otherwise, everything's so really small. Let's take a listen to the speakers. A little tinny, but it sounds better in person. I briefly used the rear facing camera. It looked pretty decent, as you can see. If you would like to see a detailed comparison against the iPad or other uh, devices, please comment below. I used the front facing camera on Discord and it was pretty serviceable. The only problem I could see was the notification LED was very, very bright. The Chrome OS interface is pretty similar to Android. And then there's a dock below, and if you uh, kind of hit the little circle, it pulls up a search bar, and you pull it up, and then there's all your apps, just like the launcher screen on Android. Bluetooth settings and other settings. Let's launch the Chrome browser, and uh, let's check out like CNN, which seems to uh, be pretty busy. And see how it performs. A little bit slow, it's not instantaneous, but the scrolling is pretty smooth. Now let's load YouTube. Also pretty smooth. Play some music. Can't play too much of that because of copyrights, but let's launch the native YouTube app. Check it out. Let's play some music here too. Now let's go to settings and turn on the Linux beta. And uh, let's watch this install. By movie magic, let's speed this up by 2x. Even at double the speed, it's uh, taking a while. Let's let's see some more of this magic, and uh, let's automatically complete this. When I say now, let's install GIMP to see how one of the most common Linux applications runs. So whenever you install the Linux apps beta support, you actually get Debian 10 inside of a container running inside of a KVM instance. But as you can see, uh, installation is, can be a little bit slow. So by movie magic, I'm playing this back to you at four times the speed. Installation complete, so now let's start it up.
And there you have it, GIMP is running. It also shows up in the menu in its own folder. So now let's check out the Android support. As you can see, there's actually embedded uh, settings for Android inside the Chrome OS. Interestingly enough, Let's go to the Play Store. Let's install something. How about Yelp? This is installing in real time. I'm actually not for fast forwarding this, so. So it's pretty quick. And here we are launching it. Play smooth. Let's install Firefox. Since we've already suffered through the Yelp install, I'm just going to fast forward until Firefox is installed. And by magic, Firefox is installed. So let's start her up. Let's load CNN again to compare speeds with Chrome OS and Linux. It looks like it's about the same speed and about the same amount of smoothness. Play YouTube again. Took some time to load, but once it was loaded, pretty smooth. Play some music. Frame rate's not too bad. The last thing I'm going to do is run the Octane benchmark. Please comment below if you would like to see other benchmarks such as storage speed or battery life. This is going to take a while, so by movie magic, let's cut to the chase. And there you have it, the final score of 9700. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.